Greetings and uh, welcome to another video. Now, you've often seen me discuss the issues with gameplay, but what about ourselves as a community? I have met some great people in the FIFA community, and some of which I can actually now call friends. However, where there is a yin, there's often a yang. And in this case, boy is the Yang obnoxious. If you play to complete objectives to unlock cards in FIFA 20 Ultimate Team Division Rivals, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, this doesn't really mean that everyone you face in Rivals is toxic just because they don't let you complete an objective. That's totally fine. Some people are there just to play normally. You can't expect people to gift you wins and such. So long as people are honest, it's cool. Other times though, you will find a fellow grinder doing objectives and you'll both help each other out. And you guys who do this are the real MVPs, so I thank you for your service. After all, it makes sense. If you both happen to need a goal or a goal from a cross without the win stipulation, help each other do that and then play the game as normal. It's the unfortunate price we pay for EA not only making such annoying requirements for objectives, but also putting them in division rivals. The true colors of the FIFA community start to pop up with these objectives with absolute freaks who need your help for objectives and they start tricking you into thinking that they'll return the favor in the same match. Why do they do what you ask? I have no idea. I can't understand the mindset of a, such a flawed individual. So instead, please enjoy this sweet, sweet karma. As you can see by my team on the screen, I'm completing the Mendy objective and I'm at the phase where all I need to do is play a certain amount of games in Rivals while having 6 French players in the squad. Fairly easy, especially as I don't need the win, I just need to play the games. Trying to kill 2 birds with 1 stone, I usually sub on Mertens because scoring 10 goals with Serie A players in Rivals is part of an objective to unlock this Kessie card. So naturally I queue up in Division 1 Rivals or, as I like to call it, division think you're good but really all you do is drag back rivals and I match this individual. As we get into the game, he instantly pauses and sends me this message. Can I make a goal and assist with Messi please? For Kessie? Needing only two more goals with Mertens to complete my objective, I was ecstatic to say, let me score with Mertens, then yes. Okay. Unfortunately, I had to kick the ball out to make a sub so he'd get the first goal, but what could possibly go wrong? I offside trap to let him score, he then lets me score, I offside trap to give him his second, all I need is one more, everything is fine, until, yeah. Surprise surprise, he starts defending. He must be confused, I press pause, so I remind him I need two with Mertens. No change to his playstyle. One more attempt. Where's my second goal with Mertens? Nothing. And so we went to war. It was always going to be a nightmare and the masterpiece that is FIFA 20 didn't take long to remind us as here with its first hint in passing assistance, our opponent has the ball in the final third. He goes for a first time pass that gets magically shifted to his Griezmann Thank the heavens he was offside. Nobody can convince me this isn't a load of horse crap. He was definitely passing to a striker, but this is FIFA 20. And weird assistance will always happen, especially in favor of these freaks. I know I said you're going to enjoy some sweet, sweet karma, but unfortunately this is FIFA 20. You're going to have to earn that karma. It doesn't work that well. The freaks don't get punished that fast. It's actually the innocent people who have to suffer first. And here... Everything opens up when he pat like I don't even know how he gets through there Please for the love of God obviously I make a mistake later on But it all stems from the fact that uh, he somehow gets through and here he is obviously showing me The full force of his celebration that he unlocked in his season pass congrats, buddy You're now wasting my time tucking yourself in hope you're happy with yourself, buddy is there light at the end of the tunnel? Maybe, just maybe at this point there was a chance. We get the ball into Richarlson. Whoa, look at that little dummy fake turn and bop. And we finish far post. I know I'm just as surprised as you. So maybe we've got this. Come on, second half. We are motivated to get this show on the road. Get in there with the shot in the AI, obviously, with the block of his life. 
Shortly after, we get the corner. Can we finally break through inside, back onto the outside? It's Mertens, the man we need to go with for our objective, but he gets blocked. Finally, Neymar into Richarlson. The cheesy near post goes our way. We use FIFA 20 to our advantage. And then, okay, at this point, yeah, he has kick off, but I'm pretty... Pretty, pretty comfortable, honestly. I'm all over him the second half. He can't get in anywhere near me, but we all know how it goes with kickoff. Nonetheless, my full focus here is just to score the 4-3. I don't care if it's with the Mertens. If it's with the Mertens, obviously, it's the cherry on top because it's the guy I needed. But I just need a win at this point. But of course, I make a defensive mistake on the kickoff. I take full responsibility, even though we all know how kickoff is. Obviously, it had to be this way that he tucks me in one more time to waste more of my time. Let's see what we can come up with next. So we keep fighting from the wing. We like it here because we, we, we notice that we open him up. But we get in the box with Neymar. Back to Richarlison. Would have been such an easy finish. But it wasn't to be. Right here. Back. We win it with Rio in his face. We're all over the guy. Mbappe. Back to Makalele. Mbappe. The triangle is finished. Richarlison on the wing. Neymar's wide open. We cross it in. Neymar first time. And this time, we pull out our own celebration from the past. I never use it. But for this guy, what is it? It's obviously a thumbs up from Neymar. Let's go. One more. Uno mas. And as we get into the dying stage of the game, I'm just happy I've got my equalizer. He's, he's completely rattled. As you can see, he queues up the pause. We're not going to reveal his PSN because unlike him, I have some respect for human beings. And we work it in. Richarlison, back to Mertens. He's wide open. It's Mertens, the man we needed an objective with. And it's poetic justice. The shush. The shush. Have some of that, will you? Oh my god, that felt so good. Come on, enjoy your pause. What are you going to do now, huh? Let's see it. Let's see the tears. Let me taste the sweet, salty, savory, everything's in this in this tier, man. It's magic. And with his final kickoff, we win it pretty much instantly to end this poetic encounter, this poetic justice. Of course, the sphere, the ball, it's not leaving my possession. It's over, bro. You're not touching this ball. I'm keeping it until the very last second. Enjoy this scummy move from myself, which, again... It, you get you reap what you sow man this guy deserves it ignored me completely ignored me because he had the lead he did his objective i let him have it didn't return the favor when i explicitly said two two of them this was so nice honestly and of course we went back in the messages post game a quick easy simple gg easy snacks no response from him of course laying in his shameless axe didn't have the balls because these guys, they just don't have the balls to speak, to do anything. That's why they only act like a rat after they've gotten what they have with the lead, you know? It is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be kind to people. Don't be weirdos, okay? If you're going to promise something, keep your end of the promise in FIFA Ultimate Team. We have enough of these weirdos. Please stop. Hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, peace out.